Okay, here we go. We are in preparation for foot brake feast at MIR. Just a couple days away. I already got the car back up on the blocks, but oil pans on. It's been fired up. Oil pressure's looking good. <clears throat> we have got, let's see, we got everything hooked back up. We even installed a dipstick. Anybody's ever dealt with an SHP block probably knows that um, it's a passenger side dipstick and it just comes with an eight, eighth inch pipe plug. So Moroso has that tube where you drill it out, put it in a fitting, and it has a ferrule to go on the top to pinch on the tube and hold it in place. You cut it to, cut it to height and then push it down I had to I made my own full mark and then just locked it down where she needed to be so it's kind of nice to have I really didn't like not having a dipstick uh, distributors back in timed in uh, only thing is to put it back down on the ground and I don't even know what else try to get the hood on it maybe I don't know, but there's, well, there's one thing, there's one thing, All right, come over here, come over here. After the crash, we put these wheels and tires on here, they're a nice little street wheel, but they just aren't my little stars, so um, let's see if we can do something about that. Oh yeah, much better. Patches. All right, here we go. We're a foot break feast. Maple. Or, oh my God, I keep saying that. We're a foot break feast at MIR. Getting ready for a first time run, only time run. I did get a hood on, kinda. So who knows? Maybe you see the hood fly up. I, I don't know. We think things happen. Right? All right, let's see what we can do. again because of a it carried carried the wheels very nicely 31 red I suck uh, 128 60 foot that's pretty good that's two to three better than Mason 595 113 with a six so it's actually running it is running better than it did before all right sweet I ain't got time for a second time run so first round here we come all right, first round. I don't know.
just like that, I'm in the truck. Headed home to pull an oil pan again. Yay. Hey look, I'm in my shop while everybody else is racing. Let's drop this pan and see what the hell we can find and get back. Well, let's try this again. Day two, foot break, foot break, feast, MIR. And a um, little bit of a different um, atmosphere here because we're in the streetcar. Because we still have an oil pressure problem. I had to pan off the Camaro at home yesterday twice and still can't figure it out. I have no idea. Uh, I didn't have this problem until I put the new pan on. Uh, the pan's nothing weird. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Uh, I tried different pickups. I tried a different fuel or different oil pump yesterday and then it only had 20 pounds of pressure. Pop the rod cap off and the bearings look fine. So maybe it's just a gauge, but that's not something we can risk. <clears throat> so we've had a time run. We haven't had Christy Lee out much and uh, they roll my street car window up. Of course it hesitated real bad. We ended up finding that the uh, the rear squirter was plugged up. I haven't had it out much. Uh, it happens. Actually, it doesn't really happen that often. It's kind of weird. So, I don't know if we're going to turn this weekend around, but <clears throat> hey, FRBR still puts on a top notch race and we're not at work. So, we're all right. <laughs> Let's go over first round and see if. Um, See how much of a duck we are. but so does the car. It won't stop hesitating no matter what I do. At 163 on the tree because it just didn't move.
Dudley into the deep stage. Lines are going to be down. Clean and green. Red light start for Devin Dudley. Seth Phillips, 17. Green takes the dub, the money, the glory. Seth Phillips, 837 with a 5. Okay, so you want to hear how the weekend's going so far? We already know Camaro's already home. We, uh, we had to come back with the good old street car. But she was hesitating so bad, she was 481, 0.481 on the reaction time and time run. Just because it didn't move, it didn't even move enough to break the beam, and I had to pedal it, you know, lift up, smack it again, and then it finally took off and did something. Uh, so let's see. And then after that, I fiddled with some stuff. I think I put a bigger squirter in the front. And first run, or first round, we went a, a 59. Uh, but it's, you could still feel it. You could still feel it. Uh, uh, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Just imagine that in your head. Just like that. Uh, then it went back up again for buyback. And I thought we, I completely ripped the carburetor apart, cleaned everything. I found some stuff, some crud. I found some junk. I had a squirrel plugged up. Uh, the first first time run after after time run, I saw I had a squirrel. That's what I thought it was fixed, but nope. So then went up there for buyback. It one was it was it one sixty three because it hesitated worse. Uh, let's see, and then what, oh, and then what, uh, I don't even know what I did after that, I fiddled with it some more, went back up for the gamblers, uh, oh my god, I won a round, miracles happen, but, it was the issue of, neither one of us wanted to leave, neither one of us wanted to take the strike, I was 95, because it still hesitated, he was 101, I think, uh, but I got through, smacked the brakes. We both were good a couple, but I got that one. Then I decided to come back and I figured it out. I had the blue squirter cam on it. But if you look at the blue squirter cam on the chart, it shoots quicker, but then flatlines quicker. Um, so we put an orange back on the front which is it shoots less per degree of rotation but it shoots longer I like getting it uh, so in other words the blue squirter cam shot so quick that it stopped before the secondaries were uh, doing their thing I guess so we put the orange squirter cam on and go up for second round of the gamblers. I I instantly knew it felt better. It, it was it's so weird to have a car that just literally hiccups and goes and you can't figure it out. Uh, so we went back up there and I jacked it up to about twenty three hundred, which is a little higher than normal. But I just trying to get it to go. And what did she do? Oh yeah, double O five red right back to her normal spot so she finally showed up to the party uh whatever we're gonna we'll go up there tomorrow we'll be 21 2200 we'll hit it again and uh i guess it'll be all right because it went let's see where to go uh i've been 139 140 60 foot with this hesitation it went 137 with a seven pretty good uh, and, it went a th and then, of course, it's been a 39.40 ET, and it went a 37. Wait, yeah, 37 with a 7. Yeah. Yeah. 60 foot was 137 with a 7, and the ET was 637 with a 7. Interesting. So, now, we're chilling in the trailer, and you can see I got crap from one end to the other. I had tools all over the place. I just I threw the kitchen sink at this poor carburetor, but at least we figured it out. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm bundled up. Uh, and, of course, I got my little air mattress. <sighs> Me and Christy Lee both tucked in for the night. Hopefully, I warmed her up a little bit and put her back in the trailer at about almost 200 degrees. So, it'll be my heater for the night. 
probably won't work very long. Yeah. Eh, okay. Well, I'm going to bed. One more day. Hopefully Christy Lee has showed up to this party and ready to rock tomorrow. We'll see. Alright, so Sunday first round. I guess we're going to try to see if we can turn this weekend around. So that sucked. I'm 35 red compared to 005 red yesterday. 60 foot's about the same, 138. But it went a 633 with a nine at 106. Air's a lot better. The Marabax pressure yesterday was 29.8, low eight. Uh, and now it's 30, 05. Yikes. feast was uh was a tough weekend yeah a little bit
I still have no idea what's wrong with the Camaro with the oil pressure. I still have no idea what's wrong with the Nova for the hesitation. Uh, we had it all cleaned up and took it to the pie run at South County Cafe and didn't hesitate there. Made a little noise down there and we had a ball. Uh, Reedy was a little sick. So it was just me and Holden. So we had a great time there. But yeah, foot break feast was tough. Uh, still a great race. Yeah, FRBR is still great. Great bunch of guys. Awesome, awesome deal. Um, had some good things going on. Uh, man, Brandon Michaels won. Um, I think Seth, Seth Phillips, I think, won on Sunday. Um, one of the guys from Mason Dixon won. So a couple guys I know, some, some local guys, they uh, tore it up. It was a great race. Had a decent car count. So, hey, here's the next year. But until then, it's winter time. We got a lot of work to do. Um, got to redo the hood because that was about to fly, fly off. You, re you really did almost see that fall, fly off. Yeah. Yeah. So we got some body work to do. We have some oil pressure diagnostics to do. And then we'll work on the Nova. But the deal is all winter is going to be mainly the Camaro getting it straight, getting it ready, and come out swinging next year. That car was running good. It was as consistent as it ever was. So we're going to put her back on alcohol and have that thing ready to rock. Uh, fingers crossed. Good Lord willing, she'll be ready for the 2024 season. But until then, I guess we're going to have to try to get some videos up of some uh, shop time and getting that thing straight. God knows what else we're going to do. Uh, there's two old tractors that I'm working on right now trying to get running again that were old tractors from the farm that I used to drive when I was little doing uh, the tobacco field. So, hey, little tractor stuff, little race car stuff, anything to uh, get through winter. So until then, Hope y'all have a great, uh, I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving because now it's after Thanksgiving. And uh, hopefully y'all have a great Christmas and hopefully I'll see you before then. So look forward to seeing y'all again and um, hopefully it won't be too long. I'll catch y'all then.